What's up, Legion Beast? Matty Ives here, Leads for Locals. In this video, I want to show you how I create faceless YouTube videos using AI and how you can create these types of videos very, very quickly, very easily. It's a pretty simple process. We're only using a couple of AI tools, Chat GPT being one of them. So, what we're going to use to create the script, and then I'll show you uh, how uh, the software, the AI software I use, to create the videos very, very quickly. So this can be a really powerful thing to like as a side hustle, kind of like it is for me right now with this particular channel, or you can make this your full-time job where you start multiple YouTube channels. And, you know, with YouTube channels, uh, they, uh, and especially like, like faceless YouTube channels, they're a great way to generate income uh, when they get monetized. Now it can take a little while depending on the niche and industry that you create the videos for but over time this becomes uh, i call it's like you uh, it's like digital real estate almost where uh, if you imagine having a piece of real estate uh you know a multi-family apartment building or something like that that generates income for you every single month every single year youtube channels are very very similar without all of the headache of being a landlord right um, so that's the way i like to think about these types of channels so i want to show you my process for creating this and some different things that you can do with it. Uh, you can also generate affiliate revenue with it. It's a great uh, thing to uh, provide to your clients too, if you're running some type of marketing agency. Like uh, for example, in all of my videos, I have a rotator link that sends traffic to my clients depending on what type of video it is. So uh, there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. So stick with me to the end. I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. Uh, my only ask is if you find the video helpful, just hit that like button. Uh, consider subscribing if you're a first time visitor. I come out with uh, some really cool digital marketing videos uh, pretty frequently. And uh, if you don't mind, I'll have affiliate links for uh, any of the tools that I use in this video. Uh, they'll be in the description. If you don't mind, it, uh, you know, it doesn't cost you anything extra if you want to help support the channel and uh, uh, this type of content, I'd really appreciate it. All right, so I just want to show you uh, my progress with this so far, and I've been kind of up and down uh, as far as consistency goes uh, with creating videos, but lately I've been really uh, adding a lot more videos and, and being more consistent with it, and that, that's one of the key things to making these types of YouTube channels grow uh, is making sure that you're consistently posting content, right? And uh, I'm going to show you how to use Chat GPT, Chat GPT to come up with what uh, kind of content to create. So if you're thinking, you know, I don't know what type of videos to create, we're going to use Chat GPT to t actually tell us what to create. Uh, and then we're going to use it to create the script. And then we're going to use a tool called Pictory. Again, I'll have a link in the description for it. Uh, but we're, uh, we're going to paste that script into Pictory, and it's going to create the video for us. And then we, we just need to do a little bit of editing, add the voiceover, and we're good to go. But you can see here, um, one of my latest ones, uh, it's doing really well so far uh, for a newer channel anyways. And uh, it's had 86 views. Uh, I just posted it uh, uh, almost two days ago. And this is really good for a brand, like a newer YouTube channel that, that, you know, I've only got 70 subscribers on it so far. So, you know, we got a ways to go to get monetized, but all these things uh, add up. You can see here some of my other videos that are doing pretty well. Uh, also, you know, 30, 30 views on this one, 25 views on this one. So if we go to content here, you know, we're getting some decent, uh, decent engagement. Uh, I had another one that started going viral as well. You know, so like you, you look at these, look at this and you know, it's not, it's not a crazy amount of views or anything, but this one started going viral a little bit. It's got 27 likes on it. So, you know, if you stay consistent with it, uh, you, you'd be surprised how fast you can reach that monetization level. Uh, if you click on earn right here. You can see how close you are. Uh, so 70 subscribers out of 500, 96 public watch hours out of 3,000. So we got a ways to go, but that's okay. If we do this consistently, if you follow this process, you can crank out two, three, five videos. Like if you were to make this your full-time gig, then you can crank out a lot of videos very quickly. So the, <clears throat> the first thing that we want to do is if you're, uh, so we'll head over to chat GPT. Okay. And uh, if you haven't heard of chat GPT, you must be like, living under a rock or something, but uh, chat GPT is just freaking, it's just so cool. Uh, there's so many different things you can do with it from a content standpoint, uh, with, with this type of strategy, you know, building these faceless YouTube uh, channels. So uh, like, like right here, uh, so, so I do, I do this in a couple of different ways, but you know, if I have like a broad idea of what I want to create, uh, you know, and, and it really comes down to knowing your audience and in this, for this particular channel, we're talking, uh, I'm, I'm targeting business owners to offer business funding, credit services, things like that. So it's all, it's all based around uh, business owners. 
So recently what I did, uh, like on this one, I just, I, I, I basically just asked it like, Hey, can you like, I, I prompted it. You're a credit repair expert, create a list of things people can do to improve their credit and then provide detail on each part of that, uh, of the list that explains how to accomplish each part. And this right here, uh, you know, it, it, it pumped out all of this awesome content. It's basically a credit repair checklist. And then I take this, put this into Pictory. I'll show you that in a second. And it creates the video. But the other thing that it does is like all of these can be videos in and of themselves. So uh, like my the, the next video that I'm going or that I created, like uh, which is my uh, my most recent one, because originally I did. Uh, let's see. Let's go back here the first page so <clears throat> from that prompt uh, i created this credit repair checklist and then i created a video specifically on how to dispute items uh, on a credit report which was uh let's see i think uh yeah i mentioned it right here right so so you basically ask it for a checklist of different topics that would be uh, useful or valuable to your audience and it'll it'll crank out a checklist of uh, a bunch of different video ideas for you to create for the channel. You could also simply ask it like, hey, give me 30 ideas for videos for a YouTube channel that targets XYZ type of person and it provides value in this aspect. Uh, it teaches them this, it teaches them that, right? Uh, you prompt it for that, it'll it'll give you an entire list of videos that you can create. So uh, so once we, we have our ideas, once we have the, the script basically for our first video, we're gonna copy this Okay. And then uh, I'm going to head over to Pictory. All right. And Pictory is super cheap. I think it's like 20, 30 bucks a month, uh, depending on which plan you choose. But it is awesome, man. It's it's a really cool piece of software. And uh, so I'm, I, I, I use it in Google Chrome. Uh, I think that's really the only extension you can use. Uh, that's at least what it recommends. But anyways, you sign up. What we're going to use is script to video here. So we're going to click proceed. We're going to paste in the uh, the text and you know some of this we have to get rid of because each line will uh, each line right here will create a new scene uh, within the video you'll you'll see it in a second here all right uh, also you give it a name so I'll just do credit repair checklist okay and I'm just gonna break this up into two different videos here and I like to you know, when I'm doing some type of checklist or I've got multiple steps, I'll put numbers in front of it just to help keep it organized a little bit more. All right. But you get the idea. So we don't we don't want any like bullet points or anything like that. But uh, do go through. I, I wouldn't say to like I, I never just copy and paste from chat GPT. I do add and uh, like I customize the text a little bit and I will add my own stuff to it uh, as well here and there, depending on what I'm uh, talking about. But, you know, add your own intro, add your, uh, you know, like calls to action, uh, like at the beginning, I'll add uh, basically an intro, like in this video, we're going to talk or provide a step by step checklist for improving credit. If you find the video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe. Also check out the links in the description uh, for additional tools, training and resources on improving your credit, right? So I will add that to my video. I'll add, you know, like, thanks for watching at the end, make sure you subscribe, et cetera, et cetera, right? So. So make sure you customize it a little bit. Once you do though, uh, you're gonna click on proceed. We're gonna choose a template. I, you know, one template isn't really better than another. It's more of a preference. Uh, let's see, where's the one I use? It's right here. Okay, we're gonna do a 16 by nine since that's the size for the uh, for YouTube videos. And it's creating this video storyboard. It's AI system <clears throat> is basically taking your script and it's going through its library of tens of thousands of uh, videos and it's piecing everything together. Now it's not perfect, just like chat GPT isn't perfect. So we are going to, I, I frequently adjust some of the, the scenes, uh, like the videos just don't really make sense. But, you know, if you don't care about that stuff, uh, then you could just, whatever it comes up with, you could just, uh, you, you can use, you don't have to edit any of the scenes if you don't want to, but it's really easy to do. It doesn't take long, maybe an extra few minutes in the editing process. So I recommend it because we don't we, we don't want to uh, create like junk here. We want to provide good, uh, like real 
solid content, good value to people. So at least go through the scenes and make sure everything is uh, consistent and relevant to uh, to the actual script. Uh, and in a second here, we're also going to be able to add the voiceover too. So, uh, you know, a lot of videos I've seen with creating faceless, faceless YouTube videos, they use separate voiceover software with pick three. You don't have to like they have they have really good voiceovers that with one click, you just add it to uh, add it to the video. It's awesome. So I'll show you that now. Uh, but you can see it's got all these different scenes that it's put together now. All right. If we start scrolling through here, <clears throat> all of these already have videos on them and you can you can update them and, and customize them however you want. But um, let's uh, let's add some background music and we'll add the voiceover as well. So we'll click on voiceover. And you can preview these voiceovers as well. I, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but uh, some of them sound a little robotic, but it's uh, many of them are actually pretty good. Uh, so, you know, choose which one that, that you prefer. I'm going to choose Tom here. We're going to click apply. And now the voiceover is going to read all of the text that the eight, this AI voiceover is going to read all of the text inside of the video. It's so cool. Uh, we can add some background music here. There's tons of tracks here. Um, you can also save uh, and, and just like create a favorites list of all these things too, uh, which I, I did with uh, music because there's there's just so many and I just I have a few that I like to use. So I just click right here and then I'll apply this one as an example. All right, so we got a little background music. We have the AI that's reading the text on screen. We can also control the volume of the background music and voiceover. So I usually put this at like 15 to 16 or 17. All right, make sure it saves. All right, and <clears throat> that's our music. That's our voiceover. I, uh, what I like to do with the text is just make it a little bit bigger. So I will click on this. I'll scroll this. I'll pull this over just a little bit, and then we'll make the text. Uh, we'll make the text just a little bit bigger, easier to read. All right, and we're going to click apply to all, so you don't have to go through each scene and update all the text on every single scene. That would just be annoying. Uh, you can apply all of it to the entire video, and then you know there's some other things you do like change the the font and you, you play around with this stuff. I don't do that. I I try and keep things as simple as possible. This has been plenty good enough for me. And then uh, let's say that um, we do want to update the video. It doesn't really make sense with this particular scene. Then you can click on the video. Go to uh, Actually, you don't even need to click on the video. Um, you just click on visuals here and you can search any type of video you want. So in this case, I'm talking about credit repair. So if I type in credit. All right, I'm going to get all these videos associated with credit. And then all I have to do to change this video is click the one that I want right here. Give it a second and boom, it updates the scene. It's so it's just so cool, guys. I, I just absolutely love this. You can trim scenes as well. Again, I don't I don't really mess with this too much. I just let Pictory do its thing. I make a few updates to some of the text and and the, the like the different videos or whatnot. Uh, you do want to. Uh, preview the video as well because again the AI is not perfect so the voiceover with some of the text it sounds kind of weird so you might have to change the text which if you just double click inside here you can you can update and, and change the text however you need to but always make sure you preview the video you can you can hear the voiceover you can and you can also preview just one scene too you don't have to preview the entire uh, video you can just preview the scene but you can hear what the ai voiceover sounds like make sure that as they're reading the as it's reading the text it sounds good um the other thing i should mention too about uh the voiceovers you can actually adjust the speed of the voiceover like how fast it reads the text so if we go back to voiceover here you can change the speed i usually bump it up just a little bit like 108 percent there uh and yeah that's that's pretty much it. Uh, at that point, you're going to click download and you'll uh, you'll get the MP4 file. You now have a faceless video that you can upload to YouTube now. It's literally that simple, guys. Uh, it's just awesome. I absolutely love Pictory. It's, it's It just makes this process so much easier. And then from there, uh, obviously, we're going to want to do a thumbnail. And I use templates from Canva. Again, I try not to overcomplicate this too much. But if we go to create a design here, YouTube thumbnail is going to size it perfectly for you already. And there's thousands 
of templates that you can use. Just pick which one you want to use. Like all of these right here are, are uh, templates that I got from Canva. Like I didn't design any of these. I changed the, uh, like obviously the text and I'll put like a little spokesperson on here. All right. Uh, but that that's pretty much it. Like it, it's, it's, I didn't, I didn't design, I don't design any of my, my thumbnails. So, you know, you find that the template that you want, you can also search as well. I don't, I don't usually do this, but it's up to you. You, can, you know, we could do like business. All right. Let's say we like this one. And then at this point, you're just going to edit the text. You know, if you want to, I mean, you could change as much as you want. Like uh, if you want a different person on here, you could go to photos type in professional woman or professional man, whatever, all right, bring her on. Uh, we can edit the photo, get rid of the background there. Uh, we're just gonna click on BG remover. Boom, there we go. Uh, and then we'll delete her out of here and resize just a bit, boom, that's it. Give it a name and you're good to you download it as a PNG. Uh, Let's see, download PNG and you are good to go. And usually what I do for my videos is I will, uh, for the description, I just take my entire script and I paste it into the description here. That's it. Because obviously you want to make sure that, that your, 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 head, or your title is good, you got hashtags in there, your description is good, all of that is part of YouTube SEO. I might make another video on that later on. That's not the purpose of this video. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to create these videos, these faceless YouTube videos using AI. But do make sure, you know, you put links in the description and, and all that good stuff as well. Because you, you do want the search engines to find it. But I usually just paste the script in to the description and that's it. You know, links, hashtags afterwards, good to go. Like it usually takes me like 30 to 45 minutes maybe. Uh, cause again, I put a little bit more editing and effort into my videos, but you, like, it doesn't have to take you that long, but, uh, either way you can create a lot of these videos every single day, very quick using the process I just showed you. So I hope that helps guys. I would love to hear your feedback, drop some comments down below with any questions that you have feedback, uh, strategies that you're using to create videos with AI or just how you're using AI in general. I think uh, AI is just an absolute game changer for us when you use it correctly and you actually implement it into your business. So I hope that helps guys. I hope you're crushing it and I will talk to you in the next one. To your success, Matty Eyes is out.